my name is Malika Tamil Cooper. I am the owner operator of Dresden Heads Natural Hair Care Center and Academy. I am also the founder of the uh, Natural Hair Care Expo movement. It's an evolution tour. It's the evolution of a natural revolution. It is a 14-stop tour going across the country educating people on natural hair care, holistic beauty, and wearable art. Okay, well, Dresden Heads was uh, proud to host a Save a Life um, expose, um, you know, event here where we sign people up, our customers up, because we have about a 4,000 um, clientele base um, salon, and we hosted the uh, Save a Life event where we signed people up to be donors for organ transplants. Well, over the last two years, and I've just been an organ donor as of maybe 2009, my mother uh, is in need of a kidney. And um, I've never, I never ever was aware of exactly what people went through when they get on dialysis. And my mother has to spend life hours hooked up to a machine mm. that is uh, being an actual kidney for her. So um, she's in, we're trying to get her on the kidney list now. And just going through all of the um, legalities that, are, that goes with being an, uh, a kidney recipient and uh, how people stay on this long time, but they still have to uh, be hooked up to a kidney machine and have dialysis while they're still waiting for it. And so I just found out that there are a lot of programs out there where there's organ sharing programs, donor sharing programs, and I've seen how people need uh, hearts, they need livers, they need uh, kidneys, they need a whole lot of things. And I just think it's a wonderful idea that if you have um, uh, your, your name on an organ donor list and you should pass that so you can save lives even after you're gone. Well, I hope it will vertically impact um, somebody's decision, you know, their thought-making process. A lot of people say, oh, suppose I'm not dead. Well, they're going to make sure that you're fully, uh, you're, that you're, you're not uh, able to um, go on any longer before they just harvest your organs like that. It's not a, uh, we want to dispel some myths. It's not a... Um, we're going to go and grab you off of the corner and take you and take your kidneys up or something like that. It is an actual way for you to save a life even after your life is gone. Well, um, one thing I hear is uh, I'm going to uh, be buried with everything that um, I came here with. You know, a lot of people think um, when I die, I'm going to take all my organs. It's like, well, what good is it doing you? You know, when you die, you can't take them with you. Why not save a life? And the other thing, was, again, was that they, uh, they want to make sure that, you know, there's a lot of risk going around that you're actually, some people may not be dead, fully dead, before you harvest their organs. I was like, that, you know, we have all kinds of uh, tests to make sure that, uh, you know, it's 2012. It's not like a, it's 1980-something, uh, and, you know, you know, you have all of those myths and things. So it's just a, it, that I want to educate people on the fact that those things are myths. Do your research. Computers are, we have a, a, a technology right at our fingertips. All you have to do is plug in um, organ donations and then somebody will, um, you can just read up on it. It's just a, well, I feel good knowing that I can uh, save a life even after I'm gone. One, two, three. <laughs>